Good morning, everybody. Running a little behind today. I'll be right back. Good morning, J and J. Oh, okay. I don't think many people know that uh, I was doing Hog Leg Show this morning. Uh, I'll be right back, though. I gotta go to the back. Just woke up, actually. Hey, what's up, catfish fever and outdoor bun? How are you today? Oh, I don't think many people know that hog leg them don't do don't do Mondays no more either, I guess. And I said I would do it. So here we are, halfway awake. Uh had alarm set for 4 30 and uh, I blew that one off not today <laughs> thunderstorm where are you at we got a wind advisory here today I need to kill my camera for a minute to have a cigarette I just like I said I just woke up uh, Yeah, we got. I just went in to turn the TV down and seen uh, high wind advisory. Good morning, Miss Jones. How are you today, Mrs. Mrs. Jones? Stop that for a second, all right? Because I gotta have a cigarette. <laughs> 
I know some people don't like smoking and everything, so I'm going to be courteous today. Oh, you're a few hours south, Uncle Lou, in Iowa? Ooh, that means Uncle Lou's got them too, then, doesn't he? And that's not good out there, you guys. Known to have tornadoes on occasions. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Went a little fast. I lost myself. Hold on. I drove home from J-Dog yesterday, last night, so I didn't get home, though. Oh, God, I don't know. Nine, maybe, almost. Maybe it was a little... Yeah, it was about nine, I think. Fishing was slow, slow this weekend. Friday was okay. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, not so much. Oh, he's probably got snow, no kidding. Yeah, that'll make him happy, won't it? <laughs> Morning, Terry B. <laughs> He'll probably bop in here in a little bit. We'll ask him. I don't actually know what the weather is going to be today. I had not looked yet. Let's see what the weather phone says. Wind advisory Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight until Tuesday, 6 p.m. Yeah. Mm, sunrise at 7.35 and then looks like cloudy maybe till 1 at least. Yeah, getting a little warm out for spring, finally. It's cold yesterday. Got up yesterday morning at J-Dogs. It was uh, 28 degrees. Uh, Curtis and... Uh, Curtis and Eric were there yesterday with us. We all got up. And probably goofed around for an hour or so before we headed down to go fishing at the licking okay today looks like it says rain 99 percent chance well isn't that special 99 percent chance is pretty good odds isn't it oh do they no kidding I need to turn some news on today then i have been out of touch with the news and everything for three days, which ain't a bad thing. Oh, yeah, we got, we definitely got a storm coming. I got to see what time it's going to get here because I got to see a house today. Let's see. Do the animated radar thing. Well, I don't see nothing until 11, at least, or 11 a.m. at least. Oh, goodness. I see. Click on me, go to my channel, and uh, click on that. There we go. There, and I got it on my phone so I can see if somebody doesn't have a wrench, and I'll see if I can hook them up or whatever. So we got a blizzard in Nebraska, a wind advisory in Indiana. What about you, Miss Joan? What's the weather like in your part of the woods? And you, Terry B, what's it like where you're at? That's kind of a cop out of how to run a show by asking people questions like the weather. <laughs> you can tell I'm ready this morning. Did you get to go to... Good morning, Mr. Tully. 
Let's go to the bait shop there by J Dog's house, uh, Muddy Water Bait and Tackle. Do they have everything? Hey, Brandon, how are you today? Very cold. Very cold as in 28 degrees maybe in that area. But Muddy Water Bait and Tackle. Uh, MyMuddyWater.com is their web address. This bait shop has everything. You name it, they have it. They even had live eels. And I got to use some eel uh, this weekend. The stuff is the toughest thing I've ever seen in my life. Their skin, that you put the hook through. I, the only way I could get it off the hook was to take a knife and cut it off the hook. And I'm pretty sure you could have thrown about anything at them yesterday, and they they weren't going to hit. In fact, we did. Eric caught one fish yesterday. Oh, crap. I gotta wake up. Good, Brandon. That's all we can do these days, buddy, is survive. Because if you don't survive, this world will eat you, eat you up, that's for sure. Oh, goodness. Friday, I went down and met J-Dog Friday morning. I think I got there about probably 10 or so. <laughs> I just was running slow. I didn't get out of here until I don't know when. I was planned on getting out of here Friday at 5 a.m., but that didn't happen. Was it Friday that I went down or Thursday? It was Thursday. No, Friday. Friday morning, I went down. You can see I got a memory issues. <laughs> Miss Joan, you never did tell me what very cold was. Hey, what's up, Gabriel? It's good to see you, buddy. I sent you an email the other day to check on you. I hadn't heard from you. Bike as in bicycle or bike as in motorcycle. Oh, you have class? Cool. What's your major? Oh, shoot. I forgot to do the invite thing, didn't I? Hold on, man. See, I am just not here today yet. <laughs> There we go. Mrs. 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 Jones. Take it off my phone. Now I remember why I got on my phone. That's the only way I can pin the message is to do it on my phone from... Data leak affects 70 million AT&T customers. Great. Oh, that's cool, Miss Jones. Nice. Kind of like a chill class. Hey, Stonefly, what's up? That's pretty cool, actually. See, I need something like that to, to be able to maybe do one evening a week or something.
Did I finish what I was talking about on Friday? I don't remember. But anyway, I got down there. It was 10 at least in the morning. <laughs> J-Dog was like, you know the fish usually stop hitting about 10, don't you? <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I'm doing the best I can. We're not in that big of a hurry. And uh, we go out and I had the trifecta within an hour. That's one blue, one flathead, and one channel cap. So that was pretty neat. And uh, after that, we didn't catch a whole lot more. But Friday was good. I caught fish Friday. The flathead was pretty nice, actually. I'll try and get some pictures of it up today on my YouTube channel. It'll either be today or tomorrow. I got to see a house today at 2. Just in time for the rain, I'm pretty sure. Good morning, Miss Place Country Girl. How are you today? Ah, so you're sprouting your pot seeds, huh? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, dude, don't don't not come around here. Screw whoever sent you the F and eight mail. Dude, fuck them, okay? I'll say it, I don't care. You come in here and hang out anytime you want. If anyone says anything, tell them, come and tell them, get a hold of me. I'll tell them to, oh, I hate dicks, man. Exactly, Stonefly. Don't, don't worry about what them other people, they're just fucking jealous. I mean, I'm sorry. I get so fired up when people are mean to, to friends of mine, man. Dude, you come in here and hang out. Consider this what I call a safe, safe community around here. If that, F them. Oh, nice. You didn't have to do Friday night or Saturday night, huh? Man, Gabe, that, that just makes me so mad, dude. Oh. I'll send you an email later today and we'll talk, man. I'm sorry, brother. That's horrible. That shouldn't happen, not in this community. And, uh, We'll talk about it, man, dude. That makes me feel so bad. This is a pretty guy. I've, I've never had a problem with anybody in here. Yes, yeah, don't fight. We got a win advisory thing going on, too. Yeah, Gabe, man, you just sometimes you cannot let them effing small minded people get under your skin, brother. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they some people can't stand other people to, to have success. You know, they, they can't stand it if you have success or. Oh, man, that stuff makes me angry. Yeah. That, is, that, that stuff just pisses me off, man. I was picked on in seventh and eighth grade real bad and I hated it. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But dude, you got to come around here. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what, other, you know, you don't have to come up on cam, but you can at least rap with me, brother. Oh, I got my Muddy Water shirt on. I had to. <laughs> you know, I'm a geek like that. And my Muddy Water bait and tackle sticker. Uh, damn it. Yeah, guy gets a new house. Doing good in life, and someone's got to jump in there. And, uh, see, dude, you got support from people around here, though. Don't worry about whoever sent you some hate mail. F them. You can sick. You can sick the bug man mafia on them. We can make their life suck too. You know what I mean? If that's a two way street, but. We're better off, I guess, just not uh, giving them any publicity or anything. Oh, okay. But, so I had the trifecta in an hour. 
the channel cat was small he wasn't anything but the blue and the flathead were pretty nice i don't know if i can put a picture thing up or not i don't know let's see here how we can do this Okay, this might work. I don't know. Probably not. There we go. That's the first blue. And then... Hi, guys. There's the flathead. Yeah. That was a good one there. That's the first, actually, that's the first flathead I caught ever. So I forget what it was. Yeah, it's 18 something. I don't know. I have to ask J Dog. He knows. And then and I don't have any of the uh, channel cat. I did catch, let's see, one more blue, I guess, that day. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. I'll let you out. Didn't we? Didn't you just go out a second ago, or am I wrong? Huh? Yeah, we just go out a minute ago. Come on, man. Let's go. Got <clears throat> potty pills. You on? Come on, little guy. Let's go. Leave the cattle alone. Are you going? Go on, chill. Here. <laughs> It's kind of chilly out there this morning. I think I'm being played for treats right now. I'm being a quick game. That's what I'm looking for right there. There we go. I think that's it. <laughs> Yesterday was Freddie's birthday, for those who know him, and I believe he was in the hospital. Uh, he was pretty sick. Not, you know, I don't know. I think j Dog ended up saying he had COVID. <coughs> and uh, so you might drop by his page and give him a, uh, how you doing, man? And a happy birthday. Let me see. Some people come in, I think, while I was playing dog owner. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Gabe, don't go away, brother. At least hang out here with us for a little bit. You can see and you can see by this chat, dude. There's people who care about you, people who like you in here. So to help some shallow minded piece of shit. Let's see, catfish fever and outdoor. I think I said hey, didn't I? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Squirrely, squirrely traveler. Hey, good morning. How are you today? Let's see here. That's in that map range. Now he does. Let's see. Squirrely Traveler has one. Okay. Anyway, how's the house coming, brother? Home ownership, the American dream until you actually do it and then you got to start paying money. Everything goes wrong at the same time. Dude, don't, don't go away, bro. Stay in touch with me. You got my email, man. Send me an email and, and I'll get you my number. At least text me and, and we can talk about that. All right, man, dude. I don't want you to just go away because some dick decided to. I don't know. We'll talk about that. Hey, good morning, Chris. You guys still in Tennessee? All 
Oh man, dude, are you you guys are camping? I thought I thought you was in a hotel. Oh man, yeah, dude. And there's supposed to be some gnarly wind all day today. It looks like over looks like a, a bunch of places. It probably got pretty cool down there. It did at J Dogs, man. Good morning, Dustin. That's the one I couldn't remember that came in. I knew someone came in. Oh shoot! Now the dog's whining. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm coming. I know this would get that. That was a treat. A treat. Let's get another treat trip. But no, you had one five minutes ago. That's enough. Sorry. You had another one later. Nope. Go on. I'm sorry. We're not. I'm not going to get played like that today. How you feeling, Dustin? Uh, how's walking? Are you getting Are you getting stronger, brother? Oh goodness gracious! Da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. I crack myself up sometimes going home last night. I bet it took me four hours to get home on a two and a half hour drive. <laughs> Why well, I'd stop and I'd spend 20 minutes probably trying to find a podcast or something to listen to while I was driving. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you ain't never going to get home. And then I took the two lane highways after I got into Indiana. There's some highway one or whatever runs north and south. And it's just hilly and twisty and turny. I'm like, yeah, we'll take highway one home. Like, what the heck was I thinking once I got on it? Yeah, I know. I seen that we uh, watched you on the tournament. And, I mean, it definitely didn't look like you were having any fun. You know what I mean? It was gnarly. That boat never quit moving the whole day. In fact, I think me and we were on the boat. And I started rocking the boat yesterday. I said, this is, this is what it felt like. Just think, this is what Chris and them had to deal with the whole day. And we rocked the boat back and forth. And I thought, man, they lasted a whole lot longer than I would have. Yeah, dude, I can't blame you, man. To be honest with you, Chris. You know, sometimes it's like, why? You know, why waste the time? And, I mean, I, like... We were talking earlier. I got up, and first thing I seen was a red banner going across the bottom of the TV screen, high wind advisory. And then I see that we're supposed to get some rain, and I'm supposed to go see a house at 2, and I'm like, it never fails. I schedule an appraisal, and something happens. You're getting the rain today? It's what it said. I don't, it's not, hopefully it's not till later, later in the afternoon. I'm not for sure. We're not supposed to get it till tomorrow evening, I think. Good morning, everybody. That's cool, Dustin. I'm glad, brother. I'm glad to see that, that you're healing, everything's healing good and the right way. That's very cool. Squirrel. It was 28 yesterday morning. I don't know what it is this morning. But, yeah, Miss Place Country Girl, my allergies have been rocking for two days now. My nose hasn't quit running. Don't take off, dude. You ain't got to go nowhere. Looking. I can't keep up. Hold on. It's not even moving fast. I'm just not working today. My brain's not working. Your brain's still on vacation? Yeah. Yeah, and I feel bad because I told Dad I'd be home today. But I'm not going to pick him up till tomorrow because that's the the time. Hey, he's got to understand that. Sometimes you need a little break. 
Plus, you got to get stuff done around the house, too, before he gets home, you know what I mean? Yeah. He'll understand. No, as a matter of fact, he won't understand. He just won't remember most of it, actually. He'll get over it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I only got maybe three and a half hours of sleep, I reckon. I don't know for sure. I got home when I took a shower and went to bed. Well, I... I don't know what time I got home. Like I said, sometimes I'm a little slow on the upswing. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something. Where'd I go? Okay. But like I said, I uh, I goof off headed home. Heck, I didn't get out of the gas station there by the boat ramp for probably 45 minutes, I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went in. I well, shoot. And then, I can't remember where else I stopped. I stopped somewhere else. And then, like I said, I'd done the country cruise going home. Yeah, we, we, we got sidetracked through Cincinnati. Traffic sucks through there. You know, I had one slowdown on the interstate. I, know, I ended up going Cincinnati south and having to cut around go through downtown Cincinnati. 175? Uh, 71. I may have been oh. 75. I don't know what it was. 75 runs north and south through Cincinnati. Yeah, that's probably what it was. I took the wrong exit. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. It goes north and south straight. You can take 75 from Michigan, I think. Or I know from Ohio all the way to Florida. I don't know how far down in Florida, but a pretty good ways. There it is. Oh, I'm trying to catch back up. Hold on. I was looking for something and I couldn't find it. And you know, Curtis had to get him up. He had, since he didn't catch no fish, he had to get him a fish sandwich from Harvey's. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what did I get? Oh, I had a gas station cheeseburger. I don't know why. Like Speedway cheeseburger or whatever. I love them. I don't know why they're the most. I don't know. I like Speedway's cheeseburgers for some reason. <clears throat> I'd rather eat them than from like McDonald's or something. <laughs> Let me look up here and make sure I didn't miss nobody again this morning. Hey, Chris, what time are y'all leaving? Yeah, I know. I think you guys were planning on staying until Wednesday, weren't you? And, uh, I don't think you can drive anywhere and go fishing even, you know, to get away from it right now. I 
wonder if my computer fan will make noise if I turn it on. I got some crap I need to look up. Oh, man. Good morning, Uncle Lou. Morning, Lou. Nah, we just sat there. Sam broke out all the shed. <laughs> it was freezing Saturday when we went out there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was kind of hilarious. All us in that boat trying to use the trolling motor to hold the boat. Why? J Dog's brother's trying to throw the net. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. Well, we ended up with about half a bucket full of shad. Man, dude, that sucks. Well, I guess I was going to say look to the bright side, Chris, but I can't find one, brother. I'm sorry. First time in my life, I think I probably couldn't find a bright side. Drive all that way to go fishing, and the weather's so shitty you can't hardly even get in there and fish. Where we struggled to find places out of the wind yesterday. Yeah. We went out on Ohio for a little bit, and it wasn't any better. watching the news when I got up this morning and they said this is the most windiest month of the, of the year. Yep, yep. Oh, that's because when the trees bloom, you gotta have wind to blow the things away. Man. Okay, Dustin, for sure, man. Come on back. Yeah, that that's true. Still on vacation. There's a positive, <coughs> and uh, yeah, you don't have to go to work. When you're getting paid for it. Yeah, changing plans is like the military way. Adapt and overcome. I got a blister or something on my thumb. I think I oh, I think I poked it with a hook. That's what it was. You know what? Our DMV here now, you can go in the, and there's a little lobby. You can really go in the front door. And it's open 24 hours a day, and there's a machine there. I renewed my driver's license and my license plates there at like 9 at night. Kiosk or whatever it's called. I believe our cloak is at 6. You can do all that stuff online now. Size your picture. You got to make an appointment. You got to take your picture. And they send it to the mail. It's, I still don't get that. Well, see, my own thing I used when I renewed my license. Uh, what did it say? It said, do you want to use the existing photo or something like that? And, uh, from my prior photo, that's what it was. And I was like, sure, that'll work. I don't look much different besides 40 pounds heavier and a lot grayer. <laughs> I'm sure this next one that I'll have to go in and get. Who's that down there, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see you, buddy. No, you don't need to get up here. Nope, 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 nope. You don't listen very well, do you? The word no means absolutely nothing in cat language, doesn't it? I don't think cat language has a word for no. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Lou, uh, somebody was saying earlier that they got 
blizzard warnings in, what was it, Nebraska, maybe? No, no, no. Nighttime driving test. Huh, that's interesting. Peace size hell here. Do you know we had a couple tornadoes go through here? What was it last week, maybe? Yeah, I think it was. Or no, the week before. But uh, there were some people posted on Facebook. Uh, Mom's got Facebook. And uh, literally golf ball size hell. They had it laying in the palm of their hand with a golf ball next to it. And that's that's put dent in the car size hell right there for sure. Yes, yeah, Stonefly, I think that has a lot to do with why the fish weren't hitting very well this weekend. But that's just me. Not everyone believes that, but I've always been told that, that, you know, the fish don't bite on a full moon. Yeah, They'll too. bite, but not like they would, say, in a prime time to catch fish. Mm. I know, buddy. You're a good boy. Did you miss me while I was gone? You did, didn't you? See, Dad, I missed you getting up at 5 a.m. and feeding me. That's what I missed. I had to wait for Mom to wake up. Nope. Hey, morning, Finn. Less than 45 minutes from you. That's wild. And you're just going to get wind and stuff nothing major as far as no more storms and stuff hey good morning mr wabash nate how are you today buddy you batting down the hatches up that way today no, no, you're not me yes, you make me bleed every time you get up there so you go Go on. <clears throat> I was talking about that bait shop, Muddy Water Bait Shop. But they have everything, man. It's unbelievable. They got had the live eels, uh, a freezer with like five different sections of skipjack, uh, shad, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Asian carp. Asian carp, yeah. And then they had a uh, whisker seeker fishing rods, which is pretty cool. Forget about the tarantulas. Oh, yeah, they had two tarantulas and containers, too. Big ones. Yeah, night. It'll happen, brother. You got a little booster box thing to jump with. Are you like me and you got to use the old fashioned way with jumper cables? Last week, the body match Friday. The worst thing for me is I got to reset all my radio channels and stuff if mine goes dead. No, dude, you're not coming up. I'm telling you, because every time I do, you scratch me, or every time you do, you scratch me because you uh, don't know how to pull your claws back in because you're retarded. I understand. Oh, I didn't say that. I'm sorry, Dustin. If you're still here, I apologize. That was very insensitive. There we go. I'm going to have a cigarette eye. Uh, use the wise car either to drive or to jump yours off. Yeah, that's what I have to do now. And it's pretty cool though. A lot of new cars have you know the little post you just clip the, the cables on and ground somewhere. You know, no, 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 because most of them it's hard telling where they hit the battery at. I know my son had a. It was his girlfriend's uh, Plymouth Breeze or something like that. One of them throwaway cars. But uh, the battery for it's behind the front wheel. He lived in a... He lived over in Indy when I lived 
in Noblesville when him and Cat got together. And uh, he called me and said his battery wasn't no good. And uh, that the car wouldn't start and he needed a battery. I was like, yeah, I'll pick one up and I'll head over that way. So I, you know, grabbed the typical stuff you would to change a battery, you know, boxed in, re-inch, and things like that. And uh, so I drive all the way over and it's probably 45 minutes from my house to get in there. And uh, I pop the hood and I'm looking around. I can't find a battery nowhere. So I go in and I say, where's the battery at? I don't know. <laughs> you had to pull the book out of the glove box. You had to take the front wheel off to change the battery. So I had to uh, drive all the way back to the house and get the stuff to jack the car up and extension cord and my electric impact because that's the only way to change tires. Eric, are you in the fast lane cruising right now? Yeah. You know you're wrong. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, Go on the speed limit. You know, talk about batteries. I remember when my brother had his Saturn, his battery was in the trunk. Yep, I've seen that too. Battery of this is on the firewall. Yep. I uh, just had brain on. I'll take the hood off to get it in and out of there. My little escape, you raise the back hatch up, that area back there. You raise the carpet up, there's a big aluminum cover. And there's a bunch of batteries back there for the... Uh, Oh, what do you call it? for the hybrid part? Where it's part electric, part gas, and uh, it says that it's supposed to last forever or last a lifetime. Anyway, we'll see. Because <clears throat> I looked them up, they're not cheap to replace, and I'm not sure I would want to replace them myself as far as get in there and do it. Because I don't know what's in there. It's like a few Tesla's and the batteries. The car. Oh man, I could really go back to bed. I'm not gonna lie. No kidding, stone fly. Man, see, these people that design this stuff don't live in the real world. Stone fly, what about if your battery goes dead and you just have to jump it? You got to do the same thing. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's pretty cool. My cousin came over yesterday while I was gone and hang out with mom and clean the whole house. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Uh oh, <laughs> dozed off. I was thinking about something and I forgot what it was now. Mm 
So who ended up winning the Tennessee thing this weekend? Anybody know? I think I've seen some of it, but not all of it, if I remember correctly. Tell you one thing, it wasn't Chris or Chad. Oh, no, they had a horrible time. That's what he was just in here a little bit ago saying that they was in the tent and winds blowing so hard he wasn't real sure where it was going to land. And uh, they were getting ready. They're going to pack up as soon as the daylight gets here and, and head home, they said. All over Ferguson one? Hmm, never heard of them. I should pay better attention, I guess. <laughs> but it's really not that important. Man, I gotta get woke up. Good morning, Missy Kennedy. How are you today? Oh, Ray Ferguson. Okay. I'm with you now. I just don't recognize the name. I don't know him very well. Did they, so they won all up overall. Were they from the first weekend? And if anyone has his link, Whatever, put it up there by all means. The Ferguson. Oh, wait, Missy Kennedy don't have the ranch, do you? Hold on. Ah. Let me catch you up here. What are you sore from, Missy? Did he did he fish this weekend or the first week weekend? Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Okay, there we go. Knuckle brain. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, so it was from the first weekend. That's probably why I don't remember. Of course, I don't remember something two weeks ago. <laughs> so, did anybody do anything this weekend interesting? Did anybody go fishing besides? The King of the Tennessee people. This weekend's Easter weekend. So what? Uh, I think this weekend's Easter weekend, ain't it? Uh, yes, I believe it is. I'll have to look on the calendar. You better go get your robin eggs. Whatever they are. Yeah, I left them in the car last night when I got home, too. Yeah, all right. Are you Wait, you got ran over, Missy Kennedy. When did this happen, and how bad were you hurt? Oh, 
I'm going to wonder, is this still my first Red Bull? Your car ran over you. Hmm. I'm not going to ask, but I think I've had something similar almost happen to me one time from my car being parked on a hill. I almost ran over my ex one time. So you already been to the shop and you're on your way now, Eric? Really? A little late. And ain't in no big hurry because you know, uh, my work truck I had my work truck I had to drop off at you know Friday. So I don't know whose truck I'll be driving. Uncle Lou he was the only one caught a fish yesterday. That's right. And I had a buffer between him and me. J Dog was between us, and J Dog's wife said that she'd jack him upside his head if he tried to get back there and get any of our fish. Mm -hmm. One missed one. I had a couple hits. That was about it. Nothing that was a real hit, just little pecks by probably cap or channels or something. It was just nice being out there besides that stupid wind. I can't wait till the summertime when you fish at night. I remember talking about fishing out there at the Ohio, looking at the Cincinnati. Wild any pin. Nothing you didn't nothing got broke. Are you kidding me? How blessed are you on that one? Goodness gracious. Your guardian angel was working double time. I said it's a, just a blessing to be out. Admire God's beauty. Arg, Captain Morgan, talk like a pirate day. Hey, it was nice seeing you fishing on Saturday there, Captain Morgan. Uh-oh, ear just got plugged and started ringing. That sucks. Oh. Morning, Dave. How are you, buddy? Dave. Captain Skunk. Hey, dude, it happened to me yesterday, so don't even fret it. It's a full moon this weekend, man. I'm telling you, that's why. I don't care what nobody says. I believe that like the cows. Yeah. They say cows are laying down, that fish don't bite. Yeah, I can't remember the cow one that I used to hear all the time, but it's something along that lines. It's, it's either if they're laying down, the fish won't bite, or if they're laying down, it's going to rain, which means the fish will probably be biting, something along that lines, over here anyway. <clears throat> the dog is in the crib. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, dog. Yeah, it was a pretty exciting day Friday for me, for sure. I, I was really stoked on the flathead because I hadn't ever caught one before. And that was like, yes. Did something I never did. I've never caught the trifecta in the same day. Heck, I think we've done it in maybe in less than an hour or an hour thereabouts, I'd say. Man, my eyes keep trying to close. Mm. 
Okay, look, kitty cat. Now you got my eyes itching because I was petting you. I have to go get some eye wash. Tag that, but there's some right there. Excellent. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a little better there, dog. I ain't going to lie. I uh, think maybe if I had five solid days, I'd be totally in the chill status. But I'm better. It's kind of nice to to get that break. And then I had to laugh. Dad snuck his cell phone there with him this weekend. So he kept calling me. I just I didn't answer most. I answered him once yesterday. It was the first time I answered. And... <laughs> Like there is a lesson learned. Make sure you check everywhere and everything before he goes. He had it hid in his walker. His walker, <coughs> got one little red, the red walker kind that you can sit. That's got a little seat on it. You can sit down and rest. And uh, you raise the seat up in his little pocket under there. He had it down in the. Uh, Hey, putting this stuff in. <clears throat> ah. Oh, there we go. Mm, if I was to get pulled over right now, I they'd probably think I was high. <clears throat> Man, that's funny. Sometimes I'll pet the cat and I'm fine, and sometimes I'll pet him and it, I have a my eyes. I have a reaction, and my eyes start watering or itching. I mean, oh shoot! Coffee's brewing, baby. Heck yeah! Hmm. <clears throat> Man, I may have to go wash my eyes out. I don't know yet. Yeah, the best part about my five-day respite is I don't have to get up and make coffee and stuff in the morning. <laughs> Unless mom wants something, that is. You got you have to look and see when you're going to do it next month. What is next month? April. I got to see what, uh, you know, what is happening as far as April goes. I have no idea what I usually do in April. So I know the May one I'm going to have to save for Memorial Day weekend so I can take mom down to Kentucky uh to put grandma in our <clears throat> family graveyard down there. Where at? Uh, little town called Whitesburg. It's over by Harlan. Grandma grew up in Harlan, but grandpa's parents and the, the family farm is between Whiteland and Harlan, Kentucky. It's back in the mountains. Technically, they call it <clears throat> Whitesburg. I mean, not Whiteland. Whitesburg, but it's What's the biggest town there? close to there, huh? What's biggest, biggest town, town close to there? Close to there, the biggest one would be Hauser, Kentucky, and it's about what fifty miles north. And then, that, that, then you can take the east side of Kentucky, 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 eastern side. Oh of yeah, Kentucky. yeah, it's, it's it it's real close to the West Virginia border. It's in the mountains. I mean, yeah, we lived in the. Uh, we lived in Olive Hill, Kentucky. I think the closest town was Asheville. 
Yeah, the Plus closest the town area. here is. I mean, Harlan, Kentucky, is famous for the coal mine strike. So that's the only probably reference anyone would know that knows anything about Kentucky, I guess. But yeah, it's right in the southeast corner. And it's, uh, oh, I lost my train of thought now. You drive over the mountain to Pikeville, and that's in West Virginia. And I don't know, it as the crow, crow flies, it's probably 15 or 20 miles. Good morning, Jody. Are you up to driving to work? Are you not speeding today? No, sir. I can't get a ticket. Exactly. You got. You can't speed the rest of your life. I have to pay my ticket this week and take a traffic course online. You're uh, crackling and breaking up real bad. Am I? Yeah. You got it on Bluetooth. Yeah, that's the only way I can do it. It's brand new headphones. The picture isn't good, but the audio is really bad. Let me go in and try the settings. Hold on. All righty then. <clears throat> I always try to use Bluetooth that crackles like that. That's why I just leave it on speakerphone. Warren Don Johnson. It's harder to hear, but. <laughs> Uh, Johnson needs a wrench. There we go. There you go, Don Johnson. <clears throat> I will probably shut this down at eight because I got paperwork and stuff I got to pull for uh, the house I'm going to see today. Is this any better? Yeah. Yeah. Max, go somewhere else, buddy. If it's crackling, I'll just get down. No, it, it, you're fine right there. We can live with you. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Are you headed to work? Um... But yeah, I got like an hour and a half drive still. Oh, no kidding. Uh huh. Dang. Are you going to be like the work thing? I didn't hear you. I said, are you going to be late for work then? Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. Yeah. I say we gotta think up an acceptable excuse. If the battery was dead. Uh, I'll be back. I already have an excuse. What's that? And I'm not allowed to sleep come in late because of a wow. sleeping condition. That's right. I remember now. Good call. Captain Morgan said, "Slow down." <laughs> I have been. I am driving good. You should drive the speed limit and maybe at the most four miles an hour over. It's hard to. No, it is not. That's purely psychological on your part. I have absolutely no problem doing it. Yeah, but this right here is a speed trap. It's like it goes from 45 to 30 just and back up to 45 and back down to 30 in random spots. You just have to obey what the little sign tells you to do. Good morning, just Dean. Trying. You know what I mean? There's a reason that the speed slows down. Maybe no, they're right. It's, just, it's a speed trap. It's a, whole, it's a whole town like that. You have to drive forever through 30 and 35. Mm -hmm. It's a, a four-lane road with a big turning system like this, and it's 30 miles an hour right through here. Because I can see population like a gas station or something, <laughs> like a small town or something. Mm -hmm. There you go, Uncle Lou. That's why they put the cruise control on vehicles. 
Ja. Oh, oh. Let's see through. I got hand biscuits on sale. Who's that? <laughs> Bojangles. Uh, yeah, I want two of them. What else? That'll be it. Oh, you. Uh, book me up. Uh, <laughs> They're two for five. I'll eat one later that. today. <laughs> yep, that's what I do with my sausage McMuffins. I'll buy two and eat one when I'm driving. I'll save one for later that day. Sometimes I'll eat the next one the next day. I just put in the refrigerator. Yep. yep. Oh, jangles. Yep. We don't have those around here. I don't either. You still want to drive through. Oh. Patty? Yeah. yeah, D, I had a really good time, honey. Uh, Friday, I got there about 10 in the morning, and me and J Dog went fishing. And uh, I walked the drive back there in maybe an hour, hour and a half. And, I mean, there weren't, you know, huge trophies, I think. I caught a flathead and a blue, and I can't remember. One of them was 12 pounds, 8 ounces, and I forget what the other one was. I think it was a teener, but I'm not positive. Did you guys come home Saturday or Saturday after the tournament, D, or did you come on yesterday? Hmm. I knew the bat was going to suck this weekend. Full moon. Well, full moon, there's solar flares, but I fished like six or seven hours Thursday, and all I caught was like a three-pound blue cat Friday night. My show didn't catch did it. I don't, we didn't have a bite. James didn't catch anything at all Saturday. He pulled a skunk during the tournament. And we didn't even fish Sunday. We just uh, ended up cleaning his garage out. Oh, yeah. Was it windy? Yeah. Yeah. No, there was, wasn't no sense in going because they went and biting. Yep. I agree. Hey, even the king cats down here, the biggest bag was like 84.47. Really? Next, Ray, yeah, Ray Ferguson got 79 pounds. He got second place. Huh. Now, we only had... Oh, shoot. Brain lock. We had one hit yesterday, or one catch. Eric caught a uh, blue yesterday, pretty decent one. And another uh -huh. thing we had was like some channel cat bites. Never had anything that would commit. My friend Brandon won the king cats that lives down here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, money? I basically him. I think they're maybe the first tournament of the King or the belt tournament. I fished with him during some tournament. He's got a sea arc and everybody's like, oh, she hired a guide and all this stuff. So I never <laughs> fished with him again. Wow. Was he in, were you in the tournament or was he? He, well, it was my, he was my, he was my partner. I was in the no, tournament. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, yeah, yeah. I'm just not with it this morning. Yeah, and uh, but you know, he didn't want to let me do anything. <laughs> 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 I'm like, 
I'm like, we're supposed to be partners. And he's like, hey, can anyone let me drop down planer boards? And I'm like, he said, well, I have a system to it, and you'll mess it up. And I said, what do you mean I'll mess it up? It's dropping down boards. We can get it done in half the time. If you do one side of me, one side. <laughs> but no. I understand and then, the system thing, though. I do that. That's me. Everything I do, I have a system. <laughs> yeah. And then casting. He's, he didn't want to let me cast. And I said, I'm not going to sit here and not do nothing. And then he said, well, you tie leader lines up. And I'm like, I'm not here to tie leader lines. I'm in the piss. But he's just, he was in tournament mode. And I guess he wasn't used to a woman who, you know, fished, fished. And we... <laughs> I cut bait and crap like that, and I reeled the fish in, but he's like, it's hooked up. But, you know, I like to never got that fish in. It was 30 pounds, and he was doing a point seven drag, and it felt like uh, I, I liked, I, I was wore out. I, my arms was burned by the time I got that fish because he never slowed the trolling motor down. And I'm like, I'm not a man, and I don't, I'm not a beast mode like you where you work out all the time. But this was hard on me. You should have stopped the trolling motor. But that's the difference, you know, between a man and a woman. A man's a lot stronger than a woman. But I'm, I'm glad he won. He lives right down here on what's far. Uh oh. I think I lost him. No, I'm here. I'm sorry. I just. Okay. You're fine. I He's getting your off. stuff. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep. I was sitting there and dozed off. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that many a time. There's very few lives I've been on. I've not been asleep. Yeah, I I only got about three and a half hours of sleep, I think. Yeah. I say 90% of the shows I've been on, I've, I've dozed off. <laughs> I'm trying to read Storm Tide's coming out. Mm -hmm. He does what he does before fishing every year, and I've told him I've been fishing since January 1. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't fish tournaments. If I do, it'd only be something that's a for fun thing, you know, like stand day on Sundays. That's a prime example. That's the kind of a tournament I'd fish. Yeah. <laughs> Where it doesn't actually count. You're just, you know, fishing and having a good and talking. Mm hmm uh, You know, T tournaments, I guess your professional tournament anger, let it bring that different side of you because it's you're getting paid, you're used to getting paid and stuff. But I'm like, dude, this is for fun. I mean, we, of course, you want to yeah. win. I said, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. He yelled at me when we, we got there, and that's a no no. Oh, really? My friend? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I don't, he's probably didn't mean it, but I can't take being yelled at. No, and I was I backing up the trailer. And uh, I'm sensitive about it. I, I, I guess I don't I'm really sensitive. You. I'm. I don't want nobody on me neither, Jody. I'm with you, honey. You're right. And uh, I'm off. back at the trailer, and he something about his parking brake. He didn't have his parking brake on. First off, and I, you know, I had never drove his vehicle. Yeah. And back to him, and I was waiting on the back of the office, and he's like, "Go on, get pull out." What's taking you so long? Instantly made me mad. And there's other people down there. And I heard him say, I don't know what's taking her so long. 
And so I, I had a demon dragon. <laughs> and they're brutes. And, uh, and then I went back down there and I was getting on his boat. And I said, you see this demon dragon? <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, if you ever yell at me like that again, I'm going to shut up your hiding so far. It's going to take two weeks to crap it out. <laughs> That's an awful thing to say. It. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> yeah, but there comes a point in your life you don't have to let anyone yell at you anymore. <laughs> I, I'm sure he yeah. didn't really Amped up I about going in and fishing, and yeah, I get yeah. it. He already set the tone for the day, and I'm like, I'm not going to the whole day, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, exactly. So you nipped it in the bud before it got out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Captain Morgan. I can understand that. For oh, one, Lord. If we got a designated area that you're allowed to fish, and there's a hundred boats there, it's like, it better be a pretty big body of water. Uh -huh. I had to launch down here through the Bass Pro Oh, really? big tournament down on top. Yes, oh my God. They was already out in the water and they was letting them launch two at a time. And I had to drag my pontoon. It wasn't really good either. So it was dying and sputtering through all them hundred thousand on the bass boat and trying to dodge them and not hit them. Everybody <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> I think I'm hiding. <laughs> I was so nervous, and uh, when I got up to the front, you know, they let me go on through, and I heard him say to the intercom, "You just watch out for that pontoon now." <laughs> I guess trying them not to run over me or be disrespectful driving fast by me. Yeah. <laughs> he waited till I got through that narrow channel for letting two, you know, the other two go through. I know we. uh when they had the veterans thing last summer, <clears throat> I went with Chris and tell him we were going to launch at the ramp there in Indiana. I can't remember the name of it, but I'd got there early and I seen a guy setting up a, you know, like a trailer, not a boat trailer, but like an enclosed trailer and uh, putting some cones and stuff out like you to drive through. And it was early that morning. I forget it wasn't even six. It was six, maybe if that. And uh, I went over and asked him what you know what was going on. He said there was a bass tournament there that was going to launch at seven a.m., which was the time we were going to launch. So I called Chris on the phone. I said, "Hey, did you know there was a bass tournament here today?" <laughs> so we ended up going over to the licking. I, I don't like fishing around bass tournaments because they just zip, zip, zip all day long right beside you. Yep. Bass fishing is too much work, man. Too much casting. Uh -huh. That's why I like catfishing. Yeah. Me too. You just sit back and relax. Yep. That's the best thing about a pontoon, too. Mm -hmm. The company. Oh, you yeah. Got the couch and yep. Yep. If I buy a boat, that's what I'm going to get. No doubt in my mind. I don't know. I don't know. I already had somebody else come look at my house. Oh, did you? Cool. Yeah. What did they say about when you told them what I showed you on that line 408 or whatever it was. They had this great big excuse and I ended up just signing the paper letting her have it to get rid of her. I wouldn't have. Well, they talking like they could sue or something other and I'm like, 
I just said the two the hell out of me. I don't care. I'll go in the court and handle the judge the contract. And look, it says right here that I get my money, that I get the money. Screw people. Yeah. Man. People try to get over. Yeah, I know. She was from Florida, and she knows how to work the system, and I don't know anything about it. And I thought yeah. it's better just get ties with her and be done with her. You should have told her, here, I'll give you my representative's phone number and then give her my number and have her call me. <laughs> I would have said, oh, no, there's a contract here that states if you default that you lose that money. Sorry. I don't care what your excuse is. I don't care what you tell me or whatever. The contract, it, it takes precedence over that. Yeah. That's the whole idea behind earnest money. You know what I mean? It's me, it's me assuring you that I earnestly want to buy this house so you won't sell it out from underneath me. Uh -huh. you know, that, that works both ways because you could have someone come up behind them and say, hey, and say, hey I'll give you $10,000 more than they will because I really want this place. And then that's so you can't sell it out from underneath them. And it's also so they can't waste your time when you could have sold it to other people, you know. They earnestly, uh -huh. the, offer, the offer was made in earnest, which is, you know, good faith or whatever you want to put on it, whatever label you want to put on it. Yeah. But she was sneaky. She was having people coming out of the house, and I thought it was a realtor. He said, no, I've not had anybody coming in and out. Mm -mm. And she tried, have, she tried to have a house, a roof put on my house. And said I would pay for it before. And me, me at work and I didn't know about it. Really? Yeah. So the seller was going to pay for it. It's going to come out of the price of the house. I don't need a roof on my house. Yeah, there's something fishy going on there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't deal with people from out of state. Tell them if you want to buy this house, you bring your ass up here. We'll talk face to face. Otherwise, I'm not interested in your offer. Yeah, they the, almost every offer. They even seen it. It was their realtor that you were talking to. No, it was my own realtor. Oh, your own realtor? Jesus, man! I wanted your realtor is supposed to look out for your interest. Well, he ain't. I was, well, that's what he gets his money for. How long you got left with him on your contract? I can ditch him at any time. I, I did fix him. Take him and just, just try to ride it out another six or seven months. Yeah, I ditch him and put it on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, he's already had the appraisals and everything now, so it shouldn't. Be any problems with it? Yeah, selling it. And they screwed you out of that mind. That pisses me off. But it's what people do, man. When money's involved, things get stupid. Yep. Yeah. You know it because greed. People get greedy for some reason. You know, I think they get greedy and will do things that they wouldn't normally do. Yeah. I don't know how it all works and the wording and stuff, but uh, I just had a bad feeling that I better just sign it and give it to her. Be done with her. She was being too sneaky. Yeah, next time call me and get me on the phone with you so I can hear him talk. Alrighty. Yeah, just call me if you if there's something you don't know. like. The other day, you know, I found that for you. I knew yeah. it was in there. I just I just hadn't read you know close enough without reading every line. I didn't know exactly where it was. Mm -hmm. But if this guy don't offer, I'm probably gonna take it off the market for a few months. Yep. It's just now getting prime time. You got probably the 
last two weeks of April is when it starts moving. You know what I mean? People start looking for houses and stuff. The weather's getting nice, and they've been cooped up all winter. Yeah. Then we're ready to get out and do stuff and see stuff, and that's when it's when you want to have it on the market. And that way there you can lose your realtor. Mm -hmm. I think he was up there on the, the trails for the weekend, and he said while he was up there, he wanted to look at it, so I told him he could go in. Oh, yeah? The guy that uh, was, oh, okay, I see. The dude didn't want to make the offer. Yeah. So you gave him the combo to the combo lot? Uh, but he went through the realtor. A realtor okay. made him up there. He did go through the realtor. All right, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But depending on how good a time he had on the trails, he may be like, yeah, man, this is the place I need right here close. Yeah, you just fire it up and take off. You're, exactly. you're on the trail in like three minutes. Yep. Yep, so that's, especially as it's getting warmer, those kind of buyers would be, you know, moving over. Let's go down and let's go riding down there on the trails, man. Yep. Man, it's hot in here. I need to go turn the thermostat down. So hot in here. Say what? I was saying it's so hot in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess that's the song. <laughs> yeah. I got third place in my pets again. Oh, hold on. Well, the Atlantic's real. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I turned the thermostat down. What did you do? I said I won third place at Mad Cats again. I won a Mad Cats real. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good morning, Chadwick. Chadwick. I can't remember. I was thinking I seen those reels before. They're, they're the different colored ones that matches the yeah. rods. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Ah, uh, my Jamaican friend, good morning to you too. God bless you, brother. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you don't have 50 mile an hour winds and cold down there, which I'm sure you probably don't. <laughs> it was pretty here when I left this morning. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty warm and no wind. Hmm. We got a wind advisory right now. My car says 49 degrees. Oh, cool, Mr. Jamaican man. What'd you film? You just, was you fishing or doing stuff out in the wild or something like that? Fishing videos? If you got a link to your videos, man, throw it up there, dude. You're more than welcome. Yeah, you got a thing. Broke another rod. Oh, man. Yeah, Captain Morgan, we're supposed to have some high winds like that, too, I guess.
it's Easter this weekend, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Good Friday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I hope Dad's doing good this weekend, so I go to church. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I can't go, I always watch it online live anyway, but it, uh, it would be nice to go. Yes. Do you go to a big church or a country church? It's, it's a small church. But small. Yeah. Uh, it's not like a little bitty 50 people church, you know, it's probably got a couple hundred people, but they're not, I'd say the average service has 40 people in it, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just now getting a, uh, uh, online on YouTube live. I think yesterday there were seven people in there. So mm -hmm. it, you know that it, that's up from just me and the mod that runs it being in there. <laughs> I need to uh, remember what I'm going to say. That's what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're sleepy. Yeah, 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 I'm not awake yet. Exactly. My brain's still asleep. Hey, Jamaica, is that like an, uh, an island that you go to and fish or... Is it like the shoreline or something? Of, uh, yeah, I see it's pretty long now looking at the video. Portland, Jamaica. <laughs> kind of like Portland, Oregon, only warmer. And last or end last game. Oh, I go to cliffs, huh? And it looks pretty though. I'm watching it on my phone. Hmm. I don't know if there's any audio or not. Let me look. Oh, I got it turned down. That's right. Because of I got StreamYard or YouTube running on the phone, StreamYard on the laptop. If I uh, if I don't have the volume on the phone turned down, then it messes everything up. Good morning, Rusty. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Getting ready to go for early therapy. Oh. I'm an afternoon therapy kind of guy myself. <laughs> morning, Jody. Howdy, howdy. Yeah, I told him I won't mind in the morning. So that way, when they get done, my shoulder feels good during the day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Morning, Jeff. Any fan? Jamaican. NJ. Jody, where are you headed to work? Yes, Good sir. Morning, NJ. How you doing, brother? <coughs> Uncle Lou. Uh yeah, Uncle Lou, it's correct day. I got the sheet right here in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last week I went, I thought last Thursday was Friday, and mm -hmm. I went there, and they said, you're not on schedule. I said, what day is it? She goes, Friday. I said, crap. I said, it's wrong day. I'm going to hit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was funny. Morning, dog. Morning, Don Johnson. <coughs> Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan said, Jody, did you fish? Yeah, I fished I fish Thursday night, like six or seven hours. And then Friday, I only fished two hours, 30. James said he was turning it up, and then I didn't fish even Sunday. Mm. So we caught one, like two, three pound blue cat Thursday night. And all that fishing. Wow. I watched you up there when Possum was up there. Was that Friday night? Yeah. There was a man out in front of me, though. He's probably caught all the fish that was trying to swim up to the dam. Oh. Dave Bozart, good morning. Hey, Dave. Uh, did you fish last night, Captain Morgan said? No. I, we uh, stayed in. It wasn't a bite, so we just stayed in and cleaned the dog up. Hmm. Started to go, but well, he's pretty tired. So I didn't yeah. know. Hmm. Hey, morning, Eric. Morning. It was like Eric got some rain or something. Nah, it's just the way the parking lot looks like. Oh, that was wet. Yeah, we're at, we're supposed to get some 90% heavy thunderstorms roll through here. Ooh. All right, Jamaican, you take care. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be another traveling live for Bugman. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm fixing to be on the road here in a little bit. <laughs> but I can't travel nowhere. He did enough traveling this weekend. Yeah, he traveled back. <laughs> I noticed he had a real good time. Yeah. It's always a good time hanging out with the dog. Yeah, you pay for that. Oh man, I know it's off the wall. Did you and Curtis make it down there? Yeah, good deal. Bug man, did I get my picture? What picture? Stand in front of the new boat. <laughs> no, I didn't get it. You have to send it. You have to send it to me, man. No, you supposed y'all supposed to take a picture. Oh, standing in front of the... Oh, it was in the garage. You couldn't really get in there and get a picture. Oh, didn't y'all take that out fishing Friday? No, we took... Saturday? We took the silk out. Oh. That one's in the garage. Yeah, we know J-Dog said, nah, we're not doing that. He'll put it on Fish Nations Saturday night and everybody get to see it. And I'm not ready to reveal yet. <laughs> he still wants to keep Mark kept his crop of guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Morgan well, said, I'm going Wednesday to redeem myself. Seen that. I keep my eyes out for that one. Mm. 
Oh, goodness. I might get to fish. I don't know. It depends on what the weather is. I might be able to get out around here one day. So, Bugman, how many times did you break your PB? Two. Or actually one for blue and one for channel. Or awesome. Blue, for flathead, I mean. I call it a pretty nice flathead. I seen that one. Yeah. Yep. Those I, are I was watching. Yeah, you, you bounced off quick with a trifecta. That was awesome. Come on, chatty caddies. I'm trying, man. I'm falling asleep. I'm sorry. I might want to leave this up and let people chat, and <coughs> that's why I sit here and doze off. I only got three and a half hours of sleep. Dave said 13 and a 7. I was watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about people in chat. Quit lurking in there. Come on out and chat to us. Jody, and Jody and somebody help keep her awake. But the 13 was the flatty, and I thought the blue was 10 something. I have to ask NJ for. Uh, NJ, that brain's right. Uh, J Dog, because I don't remember. I, I, I can go back and watch a video and see, I reckon. Yeah, I don't remember what the weights were either. I've seen the fish, but I don't remember what the weights were. I was eating a biscuit. <laughs> I was eating a biscuit. All I know is when you caught the flathead, it pulled that pole down, and and he didn't want to come up, did he, bug man? No, yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. I had never caught one before, and you, I could feel his head shaking and stuff. Uh, I yeah. definitely understand now why people like to target them. Oh, yeah, they're fun. Even if they're three to five pounds, they do the same thing. You wouldn't believe how stout they are. Oh, yeah, their tails are strong. Uh, Captain Morgan said, Bug, I wish you'd move down here. I'd take you fishing. Yeah, I wish I could move anywhere but here. Very popular. So what, Eric? You guys drove by me in a double yellow line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they do that here, too. And it's Either they've got a important. death wish or they're trying to kill somebody else. Yep. All right, Dustin. Good, hey. you back, brother. You get good morning, Dustin. Morning. Yeah, Jody done got her a biscuit. She was eating a biscuit. <laughs> Woo I got two of them. I ate one of them. <laughs> the other one oh, what for that Say it over for a breakfast snack. I probably ended up eating the second one instead of saving it. I only get probably about nine or ten. Oh. It went mixed to it. Ham biscuit from both of you. <laughs> one little piece of ham. Stingy. <laughs> <laughs> Come up on those speed tracks. Had a ticket here too, so I know. <laughs> Where's down here at, Captain Morgan? They're loud. Port loud. <laughs> Yeah, wherever it's at, if you hike your leg up, you get a bottle of rum. <laughs> if 
Fort Loudon. Is that in Florida? Tennessee. Oh, is it Tennessee? Wow. Yeah. I fished there one summer for about three months. And yeah, I'd be blown down and at ten thirty. It was like an old switch was turned on. I'd have a bite for about twenty minutes in that spot and catch fish. And after that they was gone. Yeah, he said Greenback, Tennessee. Are you having a whip round for Trump? His four hundred sixty four million bond is due today. <laughs> he it's all right, he got five he got over five million pocket cash. Uh Dustin Jody, are you going to the you going to speed limit or your speed limit? <laughs> well, I have a ticket here, so I'm definitely doing the speed limit. Hey, her sixty five on her speedometer says fifty six. I'm doing thirty. Morning fishing for whiskers. Uh oh, there's crossing over. <laughs> Early Monday morning. On our drive to work. I'm thankful I'm able to work. <laughs> Rhonda said, Happy Monday, and Dustin, I'm betting hers. <laughs> 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 I told you her speedometer on her dash, where R says 65, her says 56. It does. Oh, look at there. It turned into the sun now. Yep. Sunshine. It's still pitch black where me and Jody's at. But Jody's starting to get a little blue up there. Just a little. I doubt we see the sun today. I was let the dog out and I seen how bright that full moon was and all of a sudden dark clouds rolled in and covered it up. I don't think her speedometer works rustic. I think it's stuck somewhere it's and she just guesses. <laughs> I don't think so either, Dustin. Oh, Jody hit a dead spot. Uh, did you hear what I said about Dustin said? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm going to guess some. I had to call Dustin last time I got a ticket because I missed paying it. And uh, so I, I was supposed to pay it on Thursday and forgot about it and I had to go on Monday and do it. And they was going to already sent me, was sending me a letter wanting to take my license later on. Wow. I glue that ankle still throbbing. Hey, 
Has Buggy hey, nodded off again? Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm awake again. He needs a Red Bull. Have you seen Yes. Or have I just been missing? It is pig's butt pork. It's a big pig's butt Ooh. pork. <laughs> this cold weather's not helping. Oh, I imagine not. It's a pig's butt pork. <laughs> hey, we had that. Uh, a couple days ago, we had a little cold weather come through here. It just looked cool. Well, my shoulder hurt me all day. Yesterday, it warmed up to about 70, and it felt great all day long. Yeah. So I think uh, my shoulder's going to give me fits when the weather gets cooler and, and more damp. Mine does. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty sunrise, it looks like. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are in here as much dozing as I've done. Oh, I'm trying, man. I didn't even, I didn't even remember about this. Well, when did you get back from uh, over at J-Dogs? About 9 o'clock last night. Oh, and I bet you was up for a while, too, wasn't you? Oh, yeah, I didn't get in bed till midnight. Ooh. Well, I had to go through stuff and check some emails because I Here we go. stuff. That's something bad about like going on a vacation or a mini vacation. When you come back, you got a lot of catching up to do. Mm hmm. Dog said, I'm with flu. The screws in my ankle don't like cold weather. <laughs> yep. A couple of little metal clips around my eye socket where I fractured my eye socket. And uh, the one out here all the way on the edge of your eye socket by your temple where the skin's real thin. Yeah. Yeah, you've got in the cold weather, you can feel it get cold. Mm. Dust is that I'm lucky the cold weather doesn't affect my hip yet. Be grateful. Because <laughs> <laughs> when, it, when it starts, it's just a little, it's not a severe pain it's just a irritating pain mm -hmm. yep mine felt great one day last week but has been back downhill since hopefully once all these staples and stitches are out of help i imagine inside that cast of staples are just oh i couldn't imagine yeah <laughs> rubbing I, that's all i can just imagine i've never had a cast in my life i've had a when I broke my ankles, uh, all they did was put it in a boot. Here's some crutches, boy. <laughs> mm. Which I'm kind of glad they didn't glad they didn't put it in cast as much as the nightmares I've heard about itching and doing all that kind of crap. Oh, goodness. Good morning, Uncle Lou. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, I wanted to ask you, too. How much snow did you get the other day? No, you had to get enough for the snow plows to go by his house a couple times. Oh, really? Yeah, he said he sat there watching. Well, there goes the snow plow. A few minutes later, said he come back through here again. <laughs> when the itty bitty broke his ankle, they used an air cast. Not sure how it works when people take it off. Yeah, I've seen a couple people had those. Uncle Lou said, Yeah, the cast aren't for me. This one goes April 4. Along with the staples, then in, in another four to six weeks. Oh my gosh. 
He said April 4th. What, I, what I'm taking is April 4th, the cash comes off, then the staples come off. Then he's in another one for four to six weeks. Well, maybe when I get them staples out, it won't be as irritating. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that, especially if they're like catching on the cotton inside the cast and stuff. Oh, yeah. He said that day maybe got an inch or so. This has got 12, and they don't go by for days. One inch, and then they come by four times in a half hour. <laughs> If they get 12, 12 inches, you don't see them for days. You get one inch and they come by four times. <laughs> it's just about how it works. Yeah, she got the money. <clears throat> well, that's a pretty sunrise Jody's got with them clouds and that sun coming up. Mm -hmm. It is pretty. Well, if we get the rain they're expecting us to get, boy, the rivers around here is going to come up. I go Thursday. It's my day off from therapy. I'm going to go skipjack fishing. That's cool. That should be fun. <clears throat> yeah, the last time I went skipjack fishing, me and Dominic last week, we pulled up at the end of the dam there, fished it on the highway and picked up a big old bolt. It slung out on the interstate there, and we never made it back to Husband Road. What was that? Exit 16 for Paducah, and it the boat slung out, and my front tire went flat. Uh, I'm just glad he had a friend come out, and he had a deal where we can take it off and look and uh, plug it and put it back on. So now I got to get me a set of tires for the front. Do what? I said I know a guy. Yeah, you know a guy's got tires, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? The place where I get my tires, they order them. Uh, they might order from you guys. I don't know. I never asked them. That's probably it. I'm going to jump off and take a nap. I'll catch you there later. Okay, Jody, be safe. You have a good day at work. Hey, Jody. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Be careful, Jody. Later. Don't let that rabbit across the road jumping over it come get you. She must drive a pretty good ways to go to work. Thank God, Eric's almost in full sunrise. It's still pitch black here. Uh, be right back, folks. I'll be right back. Hmm. 26 people in chat and only two or three making comments. Speaking of tires, how's your tire end up doing? My own buggy. It's good, man. I don't know what the deal was with that. It's, it's, I haven't looked today, but 
It doesn't look low yesterday all the way home. I stopped. You know, every time I stopped, I checked it to make sure to see if anything was, you know, if it was getting low or anything. And it, it wasn't. It was staying up pretty decent, actually. I was happy. That's weird, isn't it? I said it could have just been that snap of cold down there. Yep. I said, all right. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I just keep dozing off, man. Okay, then, then you get outside. I appreciate that. Hey, you're good, buggy. <laughs> we all understand. Everybody gets tired time to time. Yeah. yeah. All them big fish he's been catching wore him out. Yeah. Then three days of, of fishing too, where you know you go from not doing any at all to three days worth, and I, I guess it can catch up on you. You go, oh, that's like you're going to therapy, aren't you? Yeah, that's not well. I will here in a little bit. Oh, I'm making it on the road and I'll turn it over to the chat side. No, nah, no worries.
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he did, doggy. He wore me out Friday, that's for sure. In fact, they went to Applebee's Friday and I stayed there. I'm like, go ahead. I'm too tired for that. Oh, hold on, Rustic. I see you now. There you go. Hey, there we you. go. Yeah, my phone switched over to 4G and kicked me out. <laughs> Eric says he's the only one allowed to drive up here. <laughs> it, uh, it'd be a whole lot better and stuff to kind of buggy. No. Get out there at night. It'd be nice to get out there at night. It'd be a yeah. Night yeah, I love night fishing, man. And I don't know why it does. It seems like at night the wind dies down. Tonight. Yep. Yep. That usually it does. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better than it is. They keep that head stuff up to Canada. Along with their geese. Two inches since yesterday. Goodness, even yeah, but two inches of rain, man. I mean, that makes the puddles flow or the ditch lines flow, that's for sure. Hey, that reminds me, I need to go down there and jack the boat up, get my tires off, and go have new tires put on. Yeah. I yeah. noticed last year they was kind of cracked a little bit. Yeah, make, sure you grease, make sure you grease them bearings. That's all I can say. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that, too, because I noticed at the end, when I put them up last year, when my shoulder finally went out, I noticed that they was loose. So that tells me they're kind of dry, so... I'm gonna do all that, change the lower unit gear, oil, and probably order me a new water pump. I bet that thing ain't never had a new water pump put in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I noticed that if I give it if it sits there and idle, it barely spits water. If I give it a little gas, it throws water out. So I, that's telling me it needs the water pump. Huh. When I first bought my Ford, I had the uh, insurance on it through the credit union. My water pump went out. It literally started spewing water out of the bottom of the overflow or the yeah. emergency check valve or whatever. I can't remember what it cost. But yeah, I might as well just order. I can get it off Amazon for like 28 bucks. And uh, that same one for that type motor. And it ain't nothing but drop a few bolts and pull it down. And they said just the linkage. I have to make sure I put the linkage right back where it was at. Do you get some money? 
just buy a water pump and tell her why do you do you get some money just buy a water pump and propeller? Why not just keep running until it's dry? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Morning, Marillo. Yeah, I might no right till it's dry. I just noticed when I put the the hose ears on there, water ears on there, and I put them on and the center island, it, it spits out a little bit of stream. When I get it fuel, it puts more out. So that tells me that uh, <laughs> it's neat to do. And it's probably never had one in it. So I imagine they're war. It's not but rubber. It's got rubber gear in it anyway. trying to say save some money and just buy an impeller yeah in the long run you will <coughs> make sense your money's worth get your money worth out of it yeah well I imagine it's a 1990 something I can't remember exactly what year it is and, uh, and I imagine it's never been changed. Mm. Well, come on around me, car. There's no one coming up here. You better hurry up. And they ain't going to slow down for you to get over. Now, when my water pump went out on the rodeo, I had... <laughs> to change it, you literally were sitting there looking at the water pump and the timing belt. So I went ahead and replaced the timing belt, pulleys, and everything while I was in there. Now that makes sense right there. Yep. If you already broke down that far, and you see any kind of wear, especially on the little gears, some of them's plastic, uh, you better mm -hmm. just go ahead and change that out. Now you know it would take a little white paint pen and dot exactly where the dot goes on the position on that gear, put it exactly back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to pull all the paperwork on that house I got to see later. Yeah, I'm not that. And then pull the MLS. I may even pull some comps before I drive over. Yeah. Lou said Curtis must have mm -hmm. got wore out this weekend too. <laughs> oh, come on, Eric. Did you and Curtis catch any fish? Good morning, Mr. Sanchez. I did. I caught fish. Barnaby. Barnaby Satas. That's good. Yeah, I think he had the only fish yesterday. That's right. Yeah, I know I said I was going to go skipjack fishing Thursday. I can. Thursday, I got my doctor's appointment from a surgeon. So it looks like I'll be going Friday. No, I won't be going Friday either. That gum, I got therapy Friday. Therapy. 
Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, crap. Ah. Barnaby Sanchez, I like that name. It's early in the morning. Hey, look at that. The sun's coming up. Yeah, it is here too. I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's, it's a real cloudy here. Like I said, they're calling for 90% chance of thunder showers. So. <laughs> Who knows? It might break north and south of us, but you never know. Mm -hmm. If it does, that means you're going to get it and Jody's going to get it. <laughs> okay, Dustin, you got any therapy today or anything, bud? Better go tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know about tomorrow. They're calling for thunderstorms tomorrow. <laughs> or rain. I forgot how much percentage. That's why I was going to go this towards the end of this week. I don't like going up there on the weekends because there's too many people up there. I mean, I'm in not no hurry. I can wait next week. Rain don't stop the skip crack king. <laughs> 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 that's a good one <laughs> the rain stops this one I've been up there when it's been raining and I'll tell you it's cold mm -hmm. and that rain come in I'm still catching them but whew. I mean it's not so bad if it's coming from one direction it's like coming from the side back to your bag but when it's blowing across that water into your face that's a different yeah story. Yeah, it seemed like everywhere we went, it was in our face. Yeah. It's like, why can't I just, I can put my hoodie up on my coat and it kind of mostly run off. Yeah. And, uh, but it wants to blow, direction it wants to blow is like right in the front of you, right in your face. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Size, I probably need to wait till after these big rains get by and let the water levels get back to, to whatever level they're going to fall on. We got 33 whopping people Spell. all up in here. Hey, everybody. <laughs> he said, well, normal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this road's busy this morning. Hmm. I gotta clean my truck out before I go see that house. Take my rods and stuff out of it. Oh, you got an appraisal? Yeah. Yeah, I picked awesome. one up. I just can't not work. I mean, I gotta at least do a couple of months. Deeper than the mountain. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty sunrise this morning. I might want to move that blind over some so I can see it.
Hey, I might not go skipjack fishing this week. I might go possum this weekend or something. If there comes a big rain, we can go through the week and go catfish or something. Yeah. How long does the run last? The what? How long does the skipjack thing last? I mean, is it a certain amount of time uh, they do it or is it year round? <clears throat> you can catch them year round. I mean, later on, sometimes it's tough to catch them. Like really? last year, them, them big ones, two to three and a half pounders moved in. And then after they moved out, it was tough to catch them. Yeah. And then, uh, and then like this year, they're pretty good. Sometimes it runs plumb up to June. And then after <laughs> June, it's tough to catch them. But. Dog, I don't let him get close to my vehicle. Are you kidding me? I know better. It'd either be a dead fish or one of them eels. <laughs> it's kind of <clears throat> freaky at the pet or the bait shop. They got that tank with the eels in it, and they put little pieces of conduit in there, or about I don't know, say six or seven inches long uh, pieces of conduit all cut and stacked on the bottom. And if you look, lean down and look in them, you can see it's like two or three of them eels in each one of them little things. Yeah. Uncle Lou said, dog, yep, it's in the dash of Air's truck. <laughs> right next to the heater coil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on top of the fan. I see. We didn't catch no gift tag. Did y'all find any bigger shad down there? I know he said he, 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 he netted some smaller ones. Yeah, we. He, I think we got three or four pretty decent ones. Yeah, it's like three. I think I think three decent ones. There was one big one. I was gonna say yeah, one of them was a hoss. Huh. And had the wind not been blowing so hard, we'd have been able to get a lot more. Yeah. Hey, DHA. Good morning, buddy. I believe J Dog and Terrence put the top fishing today. Yeah, I think they are. I guess it depends on what the wind's going to do down there because I know we got uh, wind advisories or whatever here. Yep. Want a double hook? Today's supposed to be yeah. the best day of the week. Wind's been blowing here all weekend and it's blowing right now. It's blowing. <laughs> Not that bad. I mean, yesterday mm. seemed to be a pretty decent day. Yeah, it was. Especially by, I don't know, uh, 11 or so, it started getting nice and sunny and warm. Yeah. <laughs> Bacon potato burritos. Hmm, I've never heard of that, but it sounds like I could. Hey, morning, Chad. It was really warm yesterday. Oh, my couch. <laughs> on my couch. He meant on my couch. Taco John's. They are good. There you go, bug man. What's that? I'm sorry. Uncle Lou said Taco John's. They are good. Taco John's. Yeah, see, we don't have that. <laughs> On the couch. Yeah, Chad, it was cool in the morning. I'm not going to lie. 
but uh, by mid afternoon one or so, it was it was. I mean, it's still cool because of the wind, but at least the sun was shining. At least the sun was shining. Mm. Taco John's, they are. I'm going to have to Google them and look at them. Yeah, there's a Taco John's up here in Saxon. So is it like a growing franchise, I wonder, or just regional? Let's see. Taco oh, Jones. it's it's a franchise like Taco Bell. Yeah. Probably not as widespread like Taco Bell, but. Ah, oh, come on. I can't even get my fingers to work today. Taco John's. Yep. Original tacos, burrito, <coughs> potato oli. A potato oli. Potato oli. Oh, shoot. They got Alaskan flounder fish tacos. Are you kidding me? Really? Yes. Oh, man. I got to see if there's any locate. Here we go. Are there any in Indiana? Don't, 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 don't pull up here. I can't see if the traffic's coming. Well, I'm going. They're going to have to wait on me. Come on, old fishing van. Outrun that semi. Go oh, run you down. Yes. There are some. Where's this one here at? Uh, he said bacon, scrambled eggs, potatoes, olies, cheese. <laughs> now my stomach's growling. <laughs> oh, that's over in Huntington, Indiana. That's a little far. Let's see, there was another one somewhere, it looked like. Oh, there's one oh, in blowing. Peru, Indiana, it looks like. Yep. They're everywhere, but where I'm at, where's this one here at? Huntington, okay. Huntington, Peru. Yeah, they're all over everywhere, but here, it looks like they're starting to come from the west to the east, it looks like. So they, maybe we'll get some here before long. Yeah, All right. Man. No, uh, Taco John's, man. Taco John's. Me. Yeah. He cut fish tacos. That's all I want to hear about. <laughs> Two for seven dollars. Alaska flounder tacos. Small waters. What's up? Yeah, that looks awesome. Fish taco. Can I buy you a fish taco? <laughs> a fish taco. Now, everybody, go to Taco John and send, send Buckman a fish taco. Man, you have no idea. They're awesome. I oh, had them out in California. Trying to see the building shape like, so I know what to look for. Oh, man, I'm going to have to keep my eye open and be like, okay, I'm traveling to this place. Let's see if there's a Taco John's anywhere close to it. Huh. Hmm. 
you know, you're starting to see more fish tacos out this way. Mexi rolls are great as well when they have when they have them. Mexi rolls. Let's see. <laughs> What's he talking about? Let's see what they're talking about now. <clears throat> Good morning, Curtis Gunningham. How are you today, brother? Morning, dog and I. Bugs Bunny show. <laughs> mm -hmm. Said, how did the fishing go Friday? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, caught a couple blues, a flathead, and a channel cap. And uh, it, it it was nice. It was good. Just me and just me and J Dog was out there and uh, had a good time. Got a couple yeah. of PBs. Yeah, seen plenty of deer too, did he? Yeah, heck, I seen deer and turkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. Watching that nature as it come alive. Yeah, it uh. The turkey, we were sitting there anchored, and uh, I looked over, and I thought I seen something moving, you know, and uh, I picked up my glasses and put them on, and finally, all of a sudden, you know how they spread their wing, their feathers out in the back, and all of a sudden, he spread his feathers, I'm like, oh, it's a turkey, and he must have had, there was, I seen a couple small ones, so there must have been, you know, like their nest or whatever right there in that area. And then, and hands, yeah. I don't know, about 30 minutes later, I seen one deer go, and then something must have scared the rest of them. About five more went running past where the turkey was, actually. But I couldn't remember where we was at, where I seen it. So I just looked yesterday when we went by, you know, I just couldn't remember where, which there's a lot of river there to try and memorize. Yeah, it looked like you had a lot of fun. Yeah, I needed it. It was good for me. Reeling in the flathead was definitely good. Because that's the first one I'd caught, and they definitely fight different than the other ones. Oh, yeah, it had that whole bend. Hmm. I say that's one of the best fights you had while you was there that I seen. Oh yeah. That oh, boat yeah. was bent over and in your hand and, and you were sitting yep. there trying to get it in. <laughs> yeah, I know one thing. Catching fish on a river is a whole different thing than catching them in a lake, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's huge difference. For me, the worst part is I can't tell whether they're big or not. Did you, John, 31 yesterday? Heck yeah. Where was that's, that? that's the way it was in the Mississippi when I was fishing that 70 foot of water. I was like, that gum, it's a good sized fish to get it up there. It's about a four or five pound flathead. I thought, yeah. wow. <laughs> One hundred fish left. <laughs> I 
Oh, you didn't get there till afternoon time? Yep. There, that sun came up. Nice. That's awesome. That'll make you get up every day. Go get a look. Hmm. The old possum went out yesterday catching crappie. Boy, he caught some good ones. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Nice. J Dog's brother was telling me about this bluegills place he goes to. I was like, by all means, feel free to invite me there. I love bluegill. Come on, Max. We'll get you set to help with the Looking at the trees, they don't look like they're moving much yet. But they also don't have much leaves on them to make them move either. Hi, little man. That's my buddy buddy here. Huh? Did you get up? You afraid you're going to need something, huh? I don't got that meat. Sorry, no food for you yet. I just giving the kitty some food. Don't you go in there and poke him out of it neither. Oh, okay. He ain't had no belly rubs for days, Dad. Oh, goodness. Where's my belly rubs been, Dad? You can never go away that long again. He felt designated an official belly rubber. I know. I forgot to get you set up with the belly rub, people. Oh, goodness. Is that belly? Oh, yeah. It's what he wants. Don't ever leave me here again. I'll tell you. Sound like Buggy's up walking around. Uh, I'm talking to the dog. Hey, did you, uh, you came into uh, Fish Nation Live late the other night, didn't you? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, was you in there when we gave away that $100 gift card? Uh-uh. Yeah, we gave, uh, John gave away a $100 gift card Saturday no night. No kidding. Yeah. Heck yeah, no, I was. Uh, don't forget. Well, I wasn't really on much this weekend at all as far as getting on YouTube. Just a little bit. Well, Friday maybe or something. Yeah. What, buddy? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, look here. Light turned green right on time. Hey, you better slow down, car. I'm coming across there. Do you got to go outside? No, you have to go get your buddy and see if she wants to. Go on. Go ask Kelly. You don't know if you want to go out yet or not? Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're we're trying to give away uh uh some what how do you call it bigger, better stuff? Yeah. I know you've won previously and uh just make sure you keep up with us on the announcement book, man, because we're gonna give away one big prize package. Okay. I no, I don't want. I don't know what you want. Go get Tilly if you want to go outside and I'll let you out. Do you want to go out or you just want to wait? About okay, that's what I thought. <sighs> Man, sometimes dogs can be a pain in the butt, especially yeah. little guys who think they run the house. He went and got you, Till, honey. <laughs> you poor thing. Come on. Yeah. Hook you up when you come back in. No. Uh, well, he's kind of persistent in me, Till Till. That's the most persistent little dog I've ever seen in my life, Dad. He just quit until I get it. Go on, honey. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to mow grass this week if we don't get any rain. 
Well, I got to get to the shop today. Hopefully, I can get some things done. I just looked outside. I got a mow, man. I got to get some grass mowed. Well, Dave, rest up, man. Just do everything in slow motion. Yeah, you baby, just had a big trauma baby. to your body, man. Yeah, baby steps. Yeah. Take a few days off to rest and relax. And watch the birds sing. Mm-hmm. Man, I like that GMC set right there. Oh, hold on, Eric. I see you. My bad. I was wondering why he was so quiet. <laughs> I got the chat pulled up and I can't see the screen, so <laughs> I didn't know he'd go. Oh, man. Yeah, I know what you mean, Dave. Drives me nuts because I can't still use my left arm very well. But yesterday, I left it out of the sling all day long. And my arm actually felt better. Tomorrow, Thursday, when I go to the doctor, hopefully they'll tell me, well, you ain't got to wear that sling no more. Thank God. <laughs> That's not going to happen. They're going to tell you to quit taking your arm out of that sling for now. Well, it seems like even with the exercises I do up here than I do at home, my arm feels good. But when I put it in that sling, it, it's like it just reverses everything. Yeah. It gets yeah. stiff, can't hardly move it. And I'm like. Yeah, I understand. But when they anchor that to your bone, man, it takes it a while to grow back. I just remember, I, that's the only thing I remember my doctors saying about it. About oh, moving. yeah, they said eight to nine weeks. Yeah, because it, it takes it so long to grow back. And if you're moving it, if it doesn't pull out, you can make a, the staples loose, you know, kind of like if you were to just take staples that are in the wall and kind of pull them out a little bit, and then the wires would move up and down through them, you know. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, you guys will be back to normal programming tomorrow. <clears throat> You'll have a host that doesn't doze off in the middle of it. <laughs> hey, it happens. in this past winter. Where you uh walleye fish out in the winter? Good morning, Miss Becca. Good morning, Miss Becca. It's good to see you, honey. How are you? Therapist just getting here. I hope mine, I hope mine's there. They're there, there out here watering dead grass. Okay, the Ohio River. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, in Wisconsin, <laughs> something would run, and there'd be all these boats sitting out in front of this little spillway. Yeah. Mm. Steak and eggs, AKA Pop-Tart. There you go. I don't even think I got it. 
<laughs> Pop tart. Come <laughs> on, guys. That's a good treat. That was a good one, little guy. I'll give Tilly a treat. You made her get up. Hold on, Tilly. I get you. We got to do a pop pop check while we're at between between me and Eric being stuck in the basement, we about got all the buggies pop tart wrappers picked up in the trash can. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess I gotta go by the store today and get some. There you go, guys. Good job. My wife likes pop tarts. I've never been a big fan of them myself, but I got a little pop tart, pop tart addiction going on right now. I mean, I've liked the uh, when I do eat them. I, I like the, the the white icing, that blueberry. Yeah. <laughs> that can make flavor pop. Now, if they come out with a bacon egg pop tart, oh yeah, I'll be all over that. <laughs> bacon egg and sausage, bacon egg and cheese pop tart. Oh yeah. Oh wait a minute, that's called hot pockets, ain't it? I've never liked hot pockets either. I couldn't stand the taste of them. Yeah, Curtis, everything was better back then. Pop tarts, I mean everything, even cereal. Yep, the steak and egg hot pocket. Yep. I thought the nastiest hot pocket they made was the ham and cheese. I think they're more filling the pop tarts back in the day. Yep, I know. I bought. Uh, oh, crap. I just had a brain lock. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You had your Red Bull yet? Yeah, unfortunately, it ain't done nothing for me yet. <laughs> it ain't kicked in yet. <laughs> hey, Chris, M, good to see you, buddy. Uh, the icing to get soft like icing. I remember I reached a toaster and got the ice stuck to my finger and burned me, and now the icing is like a rock. <laughs> hey, morning, Chris, M. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never put them in a toaster. Really? That's probably why you don't like them and you never had them before. <laughs> now, the Hot Pockets, I remember putting them in a toaster. Oh, I that's what it was, yeah. I bought some Hot Pockets a week or two ago and thought, no, I had my pockets, I ain't had none in years. Now I remember why I hadn't had none in years. I gave them to my cousin. I'll watch it, Miss Becca. I don't know how to make biscuits either unless it comes from a can. Good Lord, that wind's blowing out there. I will have to watch that, Becca. Because <laughs> my don't, my my uh, biscuits come in a can. Yeah. Yeah, that's what mine does. Peel the paper, pop it, make you jump, put it on the paint. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you're both telling me y'all have to how to make biscuits from scratch? Nope, I don't. Oh, man, that's sad. I'm younger than both of you, and I did. I know how to do that. <coughs> <laughs> I could probably figure it out if I needed to, but I'll let someone else show me the right way. Yeah, dog. Now I seen I seen where he said that for bullet. He only goes town for bullets and hot pockets. <laughs> uh, Uncle Lou said, "Eric, prove it." <laughs> Maybe I have to one day this year. Oh, Miss Becky, you're making me hungry. You're making me think of biscuits and gravy. Yeah. I'm trying to lose weight over here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hey, the doors are open at least. Or they're opening the doors. Oh. <clears throat> Those. Hey. hey, I'll leave you running. I'll be back here in a little bit. Okay, that'll work. Oh, man. Hockey puck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, but possibly a lot of carbs, man. Long term energy. <laughs> yeah, MREs were pretty rough when I was in the service. Although we did find a stash up in the top on the, be like the fifth floor of our barracks, like an attic area. And somebody had stashed a whole crate of them up there, so we made a point of raiding them every now and then. Heck yeah, Becca. <clears throat> oh, man. Let's see here. What time's your showing thing? Oh, uh, my inspection's at two. But I got paperwork and stuff to pull and uh, do some research before I go. And then I got to clean my truck out, too. So, which, yeah, I'm getting ready to end this, actually. Get your nap in between there, too, buggy. That's what I was thinking. If I, I get in this now and go back in there and lay down until about 11 or 10. Jody naps are nice and all, but you know, like laying down for about an hour. Yeah, I agree. Or two. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and speaking of that, it's 8.02, guys. And I'm not going to lie, I'm tired. And uh forgot, actually, that uh, I had to do this today. Uh, until yesterday, I was real minded. I was like, oh, shoot, I got to do that tomorrow, don't I? <laughs> Morning, Don. You could have been like Curtis and just took it off, you know. Hey, happy birthday, Don. Hey, happy birthday, Don. I didn't know. And back to work with the Parks Department, huh? It, that's okay job if you if you're the one that gets to drive the truck around <laughs> and tell everybody else what to do. Is that the city park, county park department? Yeah, D, I'm going to. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. I definitely am pretty much worthless right now. And that being said, thank you all for coming around. I'm going to go get a little bit of sleep, actually. Sorry my show sucked today, but you can't be a hero every day. And I uh, hope to see you all Friday. I'll be in the chat and everything in hog leg, naturally, so I'll see you all then, too. Well, have a great day. Yep. Y'all have a good day, all right now?